Marie Jean Pierre's nightmare began when, like millions of other Americans, she lost her job. Unable to keep up with her bills, she turned to a friend from church who said he could help lower her monthly mortgage payment. It was the start of what she and Boston police say was a year long con, a scheme so elaborate that she didn't even know the bank was moving to foreclose on her home. Her story is one example of a much bigger problem and a warning for anyone considering modifying their mortgage. Marie Jean-Pierre sits at her dining room table, wondering how things got so bad. She's just weeks away from having her home sold in a foreclosure auction. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Wait, what, go crash in someone's couch? She blames this man, Pierre Excellent, who promised to walk her through a government-backed program that reduces mortgage payments for homeowners. And you know the worst thing about it, I've said to this guy point blank, I know people try to take people for a ride. I'm not the one. But take her for a ride is just what she he says he right. did. He promised to work with their lender, City Mortgage, and cut her mortgage payment in half. For 13 months, she sent all her payments to him. You thought he was making payments every single month? Every single month. Every single month. In all, John Pierre sent Excellent nearly $18,000. None of it went to City Mortgage? None of it went to City Mortgage. None at all. Not a penny went to City Mortgage. He stole all of it. City Mortgage was sending notices that she was falling behind. But Excellent made sure he was getting the statements, not her. Finally, the scheme unraveled when a check she sent to Excellent was returned to her by his bank. And she saw it had been deposited into an account for Excellent's company, Lakai Legal Clinic. Mr. Pierre Excellent signed my name and deposited into Lakai Legal. Is this your signature? No, no. He forged it. He forged it, yes. A call to her lender confirmed her worst fears. City Mortgage said to me, I'm sorry, ma'am, we haven't received any payment from you. When you heard that, what happened? I literally collapsed. Hello, Mr. Excellent. Mike Bodet with Fox 25 News. Right. You're not exactly living up to your name, are you? I We'd am. like to talk to you about a very unhappy customer. No, yeah, unhappy customer. Marie Jean Pierre. Where's her money? Not, 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 not today. She's been paying you for more than a year. Where's her money? She could lose her home because of you, sir. No, no. She could lose her home because of you. What do you have to say for yourself? If Excellent doesn't seem surprised to be asked some tough questions, it may be because he's no stranger to scrutiny. Three years ago, the Massachusetts Attorney General targeted a company he used to own for using fabricated or inflated information on mortgage applications. That case is still pending. Rhode Island banking officials also revoked the company's mortgage license in 2009. Given your history, do you really think you should be doing this type of work? You lost your license in Rhode Island. The Attorney General filed charges against you. Is this really the type of work you should be doing, sir? He has really taken his last name of excellent and done an extremely excellent job of preying on working people. Housing activist Bruce Marks is the head of the Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America, or NACA. He says people like Excellent are targeting mortgage modifications because the lenders are so difficult to work with. This guy, Excellent, well, he's a roast, and there's many of them out there like that. And you've you got to stop their creation by getting the banks to modify mortgages. NACA runs workshops all over the country where it offers free help modifying mortgages. The events draw thousands of people. Should people be paying someone to save their home? Absolutely not. If you're paying someone to save your home, it's wrong and it's not going to happen. It's advice that came late for Jean-Pierre, but maybe not too late. Pierre, excellent. Boston police have charged excellent with larceny and forgery. He pleaded not guilty, but outside of court, he says it was all a big misunderstanding. It was a, sorry, it was a mistake from, from the banks. Whatever the reason, it's a mistake that Marie Jean-Pierre doesn't want other people to make. I would just tell anybody before you do anything, just think about it. And as the mortgage company told me, there's a lot of things that you can probably do on your own. It looks like Pierre Excellent has been doing some thinking too. He's promising to pay back all the money Jean-Pierre sent him. And it looks like Jean-Pierre may keep her home after all. After we started asking questions, City Mortgage told her it's going to forgive the amount that she sent to Excellent and give her the mortgage modification, which will lower her monthly payment. You can find out more information about modifying your mortgage on our website, myfoxboston.com.
If you have an idea for a Fox Undercover investigation, call us, 1-800-TV-FOX-25. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.